Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patrice and this is my Embellished Life. I have an exciting episode for you guys today. Yes, in today's episode, I am going to show you my sewing plans for Walktober. Yes, I am embarking on another sewing challenge. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get in it. So what is Walktober? So for those of you guys who may not be aware, Walktober was created by Alexandria Arnold over on Instagram. And it's just a challenge where you so work clothes um however that may look for you so this time of the year i usually that's when i usually concentrate on work clothes anyway so this challenge fits right right up my alley now i did my wardrobe cleaning out a few months prior i usually do it in september but i did it a few months prior because i wanted to help in the hurricane relief efforts for hurricane beryl a lot of organizations here in the virgin islands were you know preparing hurricane relief barrels for to send to those Caribbean islands who were affected by hurricane barrels. So I said, you know what, let me just use that opportunity to go through my wardrobe and just uh, clean it out. So that is what I did. So I <laughs> really need to fill it back up. <laughs> yes, I do. But this is what we do as sewers. That's not a problem anyway. It gives us, uh, you know, an opportunity to buy fabric patterns and all of that jazz is an excuse for us well at least for me <laughs> right now in terms of my work wardrobe i know that i need to do some major a major overhaul in my work wardrobe right now i usually wear polo shirts and trousers to work and i really need to get back into some of my business uh, some of my business um attire for work now, now i am a public health specialist so i do a lot of work in i don't sit down at my desk all the time i do a lot of work in in the field so i really need hence why i wear a lot of polo and trousers i really need something that allows me to move about and all of that but you know i do attend a lot of meetings i do have to do a lot of presentations attend a lot of workshops and all of that jazz so sometimes i just need to have those extra clothing in my arsenal for those times and plus I'm at that point now, especially this time of the year. I don't always want to wear polo and trouser in the summer, yes. But this time of the year, sometimes I just want to, you know, fuss it up just, just, just a tad. So hence why this challenge is excellent and perfect for me. So I went through my stash. I selected some fabric. So behind me, there's a pile of fabric. <laughs> and I attempted to go through my pattern stash and selected some potential patterns as well now would i i cannot guarantee you all that i would make all of these in the month of october but i'm just going to give you an idea of where where my headspace is at at the moment so i think i've finished babbling for the moment and let's get into my sewing plans for worktober I almost forgot. So for those of you guys who might be interested in joining the Worktober challenge, go over to Alexandria Arnold on Instagram and you can hear all about it. I'll make sure to link her this or her handle in the description box below. For this Worktober 2024, there are some few things I want to focus on. I do want to make a wrap dress. I also want to do a second dress of some sort. I also want to do a tank, 
plus a another blouse of some sort i also want to do a vest with a matching bottom i haven't decided whether it's going to be a pencil skirt or a fitted trouser i also want to do a shirt dress and i lastly i want to do a cardigan of some sort so those are the things the, the areas that i want to focus on for this worktober now <sighs> I've already started before this announcement. Uh, we are just in the first week of October. So I started this a few, a few days ago. I think I started this on the first. So this pattern, I'm just going to show it to you. It's not completed because I have to rip it out and start again. <laughs> so this pattern is for 6727, which is a mock wrap dress okay so here it is i'm almost finished i just had to do the hem and put in the bias for for the arm sleeves but i have to rip out the entire thing now how did i come to make this dress i was on pinterest a few days ago and uh, you know i just wanted some inspiration i knew that i wanted to make something but i didn't know what so when i'm like that i just go on pinterest to in my sewing board inspiration to see what jumps out at me and it was this that dress with some you know frills around the sleeve and i'm like this dress I have a pattern to match exactly. And that pattern was 6727. I'll pop the inspiration photo. So I cut out view A and it was going all very well and dandy. I love this fabric. It's a cotton satin. Love this fabric. I think I have about five yards of this fabric. And it was going well. It was going well. I tried on the bodice before I attached the skirt and it was a bit, it was too big. So I said, let me take it in, um, take it in at the sides, which I did. And when I attached the skirt, I also accounted for that. However, when I tried on the dress, it is just still too big. It is too big. And I'm not sure what's happening with me and uh, wrap tops and wrap dresses lately that they're just not fitting. The day is not right. They are not right. So right now I'm summoning Sister Nancy to help me figure out what is happening all of a sudden with my measurements. Something is going awry and uh, I need to fix it. So for this one, I know I'm going to size down. I'm going to size down. I think I cut, I graded between an 18 and a 20. It's just too big. So I'm just going to take everything apart, size it down, and we'll go again. So I don't think this will be ready by the end of October. You know, I'm, I am going to take my time to take it apart, see what Sister Nancy is telling me in here to get my fittings right again. <laughs> and we're gonna start. So this is how I started October, but I don't think it will be ready by the end of October. So yes, but let me get into the other sewing plans. Maybe they will provide a ray of sunshine for me right now. <laughs> So let's take a look at the tops. So for the tank top, I'm going to stick with my all-time favorite um, Ogden Cami by True Bias Pattern. Listen, if you haven't tried that pattern before, get it and try. Look, I guarantee you would not want to have another tank top pattern in your stash other than the Ogden Cami by True Bios pattern. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, so with that pattern, I usually go in through my remnants to see, you know, what's suitable for that. And currently what's jumping out to me, at me right now, it's these two lightweight cotton fabrics 
this one it's a blue and white super lightweight cotton and then the other one is this colorful and beautiful beautiful lightweight cotton as well this one i can see it with fitting trousers and also denim as well with both of them actually i absolutely love this now let's have a look at the top here is the fabric now it is this beautiful eggshell and black let's see if i can get it up eggshell and black lightweight polyester it's a polyester blend and i think i bought three yards of it it's 60 inches wide and i can't wait to cut into this bad boy i've had it in my stash for such a long time and i think it's time to actually cut into this stash now i'm not going to make a tank top out of it as yet as yet what i'm actually thinking on for this fabric is actually let's see if i can get the pattern right now it's a toss-up between three patterns the first one is new look 6394 and i'm looking at view a the second one is new look 6212 and i'm not sure of the view as yet for 6212 and the third one is also a new look it is 6374 and i'm looking at either view a or view b so these are the three new look patterns that i'm going to choose from for this fabric <laughs> now i also mentioned that i wanted to do a vest of some sort and along with a matching bottom now for the vest the pattern that i'm looking at right now it's new look oh it's gonna be a new look for october for me <laughs> new look 6914 and i'm currently looking at view b yes so here's the fabric and i bought this from my local fabric store a few years ago and it is a gabardine it's a gabardine and it's a bronzish copperish rustish kind of color now i really don't wear a lot of browns when it turns in terms of my garments shoes bags that's another story but clothing i don't wear a lot of brown so this is why i've had it in my stash for such a long time because i'm not sure i wasn't sure what to do with it and if when i do something with it would i like it or what's not but i say you know what pat let's use this fabric for this vest see how you like it see how it fits and if it doesn't turn out great well no love lost because you know it's brown <laughs> so yes this is what i'm going to use this gabardine fabric for this vest but i'm actually hoping that it comes out brilliant now i'm not sure of the bottom yet so i guess as i'm sewing this along i would decide on what bottom to match it with now let's talk about a shirt dress listen i love shirt dresses love them i mean they are so versatile i absolutely love them so i need another one in my work wardrobe so what am i thinking on right now like i said it's a new look october so the pattern is new look six four seven zero and currently I am actually looking at view B. Yes, I am. And let me show you the fabric. It's this beautiful cotton shirting fabric, black and white. So it's this beautiful black and white print um, cotton shirting fabric. And I think that this fab this pattern from new look will look 
absolutely phenomenal in this fabric. So this one, I actually can't wait to cut into. And while we're on the subject of dresses, let me tell you about my plunge for this beautiful olive green twill blend fabric. Oh my goodness. Now, I am not one to follow trends like that, but I've noticed that for fall 2024, olive green is definitely one of the colors, olive green along, along with the, the, the animal prints. And um, I think it's in you know, a wine, plum, burgundy, those kind of colors. So I said, you know what? Let me be compliant for once. <laughs> and let me sew up something that would be a bit trendy. Well, everything I saw is trendy. What are you talking about, Patrice? But you get where I'm, where I'm going with this. So anyway, so with this fabric, I decided that I wanted to do which one? The Canterbury dress by H2 Stitch Patterns. Now, I've wanted to do this dress for such a long time. And I was thinking and doing it in khaki. But I said, you know what, Pat? This material and this color would look just as great. Now, the beauty about the Canterbury dress, you can wear it as a dress or you can wear it as a sleeveless coat or sleeveless jacket or whatever you want to call it. But I do like the double breasted that is double breasted, the whole entire dress. So I think this fabric will do exceptionally well. The final dress that I'm looking at is a wrap dress. I know, right? I love wrap dresses, but somehow something and them are not working out with me now. But Sister Nancy is going to sort it for me. I am telling you. <laughs> But anyway, the pattern that I'm looking at for the wrap dress, what do I have in my notes? Where is it? It's the Eden True Wrap Dress. Yes, by Sinclair Patterns. And I can't wait to, to get this. Now, this wrap dress has been on my radar for some time. And I just never got around to doing it. But uh, I think it's time. I definitely think it's time. Imagine the time when I want to do a wrap dress. They are, they are not showing me much love right now. But we sort it by the hook or the crook. So the pattern, not the pattern, the fabric that I have. I have two fabric that I have to decide between. The first one is this beautiful denim lightweight denim fabric i figured this dress if i want to do a business casual or a friday i think this dress will do excellent with this fabric i've had this in my stash for such a long time you guys know how i am with my denim oh my goodness i love my denim so when i decide to cut into my denim you know it is serious. So have to make sure that everything is just right before I cut into my denim. And I've had this one for such a long time and I just couldn't figure out what to do with it. I think this one as well, I purchased it from my local fabric store. You know, I think it has to be three years ago by now. So it's, um, it's three yards. Yes, it's three yards absolutely absolutely loving this fabric now the second one is crepe fabric and it's kelly green i like green but somehow i don't wear a lot of it and i think i need to put more of it in my stash but look at it yes 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 so these are the two fabrics that i'm thinking of for the Eden True wrap dress, and I'm ever so excited about it. And what now let's talk about the last thing, and that's cardigans. 
I don't mess with a lot of knit fabric. If you guys were with me last year, you saw my, my fight with knit fabric until I finally was successful with the Harper cardigan. <laughs> but I generally, I don't mess with a lot of knit fabric. And that's something I want to make sure that, you know, I have developed my skills more using that fabric. Um, I don't think we be ever become bonafide friends knitwear fabric and myself but i still want to be able to know to do some knitwear garments for myself so i have two patterns in mind my tried and true harper cardigan <laughs> and that cardigan as well it's from sinclair patterns that is a free pattern so if you haven't tried it out already run to sinclair pattern website and get it you would not regret it and then the second pattern that i have is simplicity 9857 this pattern i purchased this year because i wanted to do more lingerie or more leisure wear that was one of my goals uh, haven't achieved it i think i did one thing in that category <laughs> and i haven't achieved it i don't know if i'll be able to do it by the end of the year it's a big if but anyway that pattern i did purchase it for that so that's one of the other contenders for these two fabric that i'm going to show you guys so the first one is a cable stripe fabric which is a, a rayon polyester lycra blend and i'm not sure if you're seeing the cable designs in it let's see hopefully you guys can see it there we go i am loving this i'm loving this right now and i bought it from fabric mart fabrics and i purchased i think four yards because they had a sale when i purchased this fabric they had a sale I think it was $2, $3 or $4 a yard and I bought it during that time. So I did purchase about four yards of that fabric and that is navy blue. The second fabric, it's black. <laughs> it's black. It's a black knit fabric. I'm not sure of the blend right now. The tag is somewhere inside. <laughs> and i can't find it but anyway it's a lightweight it's very lightweight as you can see you know it's trans it's translucent and it's black as well so those are the two fabric that i have for either the cop the harder cap uh sorry the harper cardigan by sinclair knit or simplicity 9857 i think what i might end up doing is that uh, since there are two patterns and two pa fabric depending on the time i have uh, i might just choose one for the harper and then one for the simplicity but we see how it goes and uh, i think that is it for my sewing plans for october 2024 i don't know whether i'll do some sew with me i'm hoping that i'll be able to do some sort i can't guarantee that i'll do be able to do a sew with me for all of them but definitely i'll be able to do a pattern review and i'll come back to show you the photos and all of that good stuff okay so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also click that notification bell so you can be aware of all of my shenanigans i hope you have a lovely day enjoy the rest of your week think lovely thoughts keep on smiling and always remember to make beautiful and wonderful things all right lovies i'm out of here bye